Hi, this is Dr. Pachenik, and today I have something sad to say. Dr. Gerald Post, who is the father of what we call profiling in the CIA, is leading a group of other psychiatrists who claim Donald Trump is mad and crazy and has to leave. The sad part is I know Jerry Post. I've known him for decades, and at times we were friends, and most of the time we just knew each other and we had a lot of respect. Let me just say he is a good man. He's a dignified man, but he's a man with great limits, limits in his own intellectual capacity, limits in his own capability to affect change, and he's so old now that he's really trying to make a mark on history. We go back a long ways, and, and what happens is that he develops profiles for leading individuals all over the world, and I would use it. For the most part, 50 to 60 percent of all those profiles were not useful. He was considered really an apparatchik, an apparatchik in a system that we didn't respect very much in the State Department. When I would go to Kissinger or Eagleburger and would show them the profiles, they said, look, you, Steve, you have to deal with the Aldemaro kidnapping. You do it. If you take down the Soviet Union, you have to do it. The CIA can't help you. When I went into the Bush administration or in the Schultz administration, Schultz and Baker would say, I'm not interested in these profiles. They have no relevance. So I would have to go overseas and uh, do my own evaluations and put it into operational capability. That was really where I stood as a psychiatrist who trained at Mass Mental Health, the same place that Jerry Post did, but unfortunately Jerry wasn't all that distinguished. In turn, I received two of the Harry C. Solomon Awards at Mass Mental Health, which is considered the premier of all awards. At the same time, I went to MIT and got my PhD in international relations. Jerry had never gotten a PhD in national relations. He didn't have the intellectual fortitude nor the capacity to do it at the same time as mass mental health. I was trained by Lucian Pye, Ben Kaufman, and quite frankly, the father of political psychology. Jerry is not the father of anything. He's the father of very lovely kids, and I admire him as being a very good father, but the reality is the real father of political psychology was a teacher of mine named Harold Laswell. Ironically, he came to the University of Chicago through Yale, and he created a book called Psychopathology and Politics in 1930. Uh, Jerry was born in the mid-1935, but he didn't really know Harold Laswell and was not trained by Harold Laswell. I, in fact, was trained by Lucian Pye, Ben Kaufman, MIT, and went on to become the Deputy Assistant Secretary of State. Unlike myself, Jerry was not in combat, had, had, did not have a military rank. He was not a Navy captain, was not a rear admiral as I was, and, I, and he had, for the most part, received an award, and it's true, in the 1980s, uh, Gates, who was head of the, the CIA, gave him an award in September, and in June of that year, he fired him and said that the same work wasn't good enough. So Jerry's had his up and down, but for the most part, in the world of international relations and national security, Jerry was irrelevant on the operational basis. I had no need for Jerry when I had to deal with the Cambodians and the Khmer Rouge, and I had to take down their weapons, and I had to take down Pol Pot without any military use. And I had to put together an agreement that was constituted as the 1991 Paris Agreement, along with Charlie Twining, a foreign service officer in the State Department, and Claude Martin from France. Jerry uh, Post and the CIA were completely, completely irrelevant. For the most part, the CIA has become irrelevant. It's not an accident that the CIA has bred a lot of treason in the past few months, if not years. Jerry went to Yale. It wasn't an accident that Bob Woodward went to Yale. Jerry, uh, John Kerry went to Yale. And, of course, John Bolton went to Yale. So there's something in common here that when you go to Yale, you're spoiled, entitled, and treasonous. Let me say the following. LBJ said that the CIA was nothing more than a brokerage house for kids from rich parents from Yale who had no other jobs, and so they went to the CIA. On that note, Good luck and good night.